What's happening YouTube? Today, I'm doing an exercise tutorial video for you guys and we're covering the incline dumbbell fly. All right, this one is gonna hit the chest as well as some of the front of the shoulder, the anterior delt, as well as some of the triceps. Gains. All right, check it out. Uh, if you haven't, I've got other tutorial videos up on the channel as well. And in case you're looking for a different exercise, you can go ahead and click right here and it'll give you the whole library that I've got up so far. Okay, now in this one, I'm gonna go over some um, set position stuff, some cues to look into and look out for to make sure that the form is good. And of course, the proper form as well as some incorrect variations that you might be doing right now or you might see being done that you wanna avoid. So check it out. First things first, you wanna keep that core engaged. Core engaged, make sure that you brace it to support the spine and that's where you're gonna get most of your strength from, all right? Stability is key, especially with free weights. Now, next, you wanna make sure you keep the shoulder blades retracted back so it looks like this so let's say you're doing a fly like this where's my chest at i don't know because it's being covered by my shoulder shoulders forward the chest should be the first line of defense so you want that to be the furthest point forward if your shoulders come forward more that is taking the load so you want to keep the shoulder blades pinched together not only that it's going to keep a more neutral spine you want to make sure you keep the chest and chin up as you do it now key is with the fly, you don't want your arms to be completely straight or completely flexed. Got my dumbbells here, got my incline bench behind me. We're gonna lay back, bring the dumbbells up. Now the palms are gonna be facing each other. As you see, I'm squiggling around here because I'm trying to get my shoulder blades pinched together behind me. Head is flat on the bench, feet are flat on the ground. Very important. From there, that slight bend I'm telling you about, as you come down, boom, that's when you bend and you keep that bend the whole time. At the bottom, you're gonna feel a stretch in your chest, okay? Here, you can hold for a half second, and you wanna press up as you come up. You're gonna straighten the arms and squeeze. You can probably see my chest there. Watch, squeeze the chest at the top. You don't want to necessarily touch the dumbbells right before they touch, but you should be able to connect with your chest and squeeze, so bring the elbows together. And as you come out, again, slight bend in the elbow, come down, stretch the chest, exhale, bring it up, and squeeze at the top, right? I'm feeling this like crazy already. Make sure that as you go, you don't round your shoulders forward. Keep them back the whole time. Common bad form you'll see is what I mentioned before. Keeping the arms completely straight like this, coming too far down is another one. So you don't wanna see that. Slight bend in, in the elbows. Another poor form technique that you'll see is the elbows are too bent. So when people are coming out, they're coming down basically right beside and then they're doing somewhat of a press on the way up. As you see, the demos are going more of an upward motion. You want more of like a semicircular motion. So out here and up and in. So it's like a massive hug. Out, stretch, up, in, and squeeze. All right, once you're done, you claim down. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the side angle as well. You'll notice, maybe you don't notice, but there is room. I can put my hand where my lower back is. Okay, that's gonna make sure your shoulders are pinched together. Again, slight bend as you come down. Come down as low as you can. Feel the stretch. Up and squeeze the top, okay? Constantly looking up, chin up. Inhale, exhale. Once you're done, bring the dumbbells down and you're good to go. So that's essentially how we're doing the inclined dumbbell fly. Like I mentioned at the beginning, it's gonna target your upper chest the most. It's an isolation exercise. So it's really just working the one muscle group. But like I said, you might get a little bit of front delt, a little bit of tries in there. Um, and that's what it is. It's a good exercise to throw into your chest push days. Uh, again, to get a little bit more development in the chest because the maximum contracted position of the chest is actually uh, bringing it across your body, okay? Bringing that arm across the body is the maximum contraction you can get out of the chest. So that's why this exercise is very good to do that, okay? Hope this helped, guys. If it did, leave me a comment below on what else you'd like to see on the channel, what other exercises you'd like me to cover. Uh, go ahead and like, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, or if it helped you out. Share it with your friends who probably need this tip because let's be honest, most people's form's completely garbage. And subscribe for all your fitness content. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.